Hey folks, we're getting a request on how to start the G4, so we're going to go through that. I'm going to do the flow, and then I'm going to follow it up with a checklist start. Filming today is a dear friend of mine and fellow instructor. This is Jay. Hello, Jay. Hi there. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to start the uh, red engine first. The flow for this would be beacon on, start switch. We've got uh, the mains on, APU air. When we put the start switch on, you'll notice that the left pack will turn off. All right, so we're starting to put the air from the system into the engine. We go to the right engine and press the start button, the right engine. That'll turn on, the right pack will turn off, and we'll start getting our engine indications. So we've got five things we're looking for. Start valve open, ignition, we want greater than 15%, positive LP, and oil pressure on the rise. So we have those parameters. We're now going to bring the fuel cock from the bottom, from shut, all the way up to open. And we've got fuel flow. TGT is rising. HP is increasing. Start valve and ignition should shut off at about 41%. And it does. We're looking for engine rollback. 548, rollback. Engine instruments look good. Oil pressure is good. EVM is good. We got 0330 on the hydraulics, and we have single rudder limit. Now we want to start the left engine. How are we going to start the left engine? We're going to press the left engine start. When we do that, this pack will turn off again, and we're looking for five things. Start valve and ignition, more than 15% HP, LP is positive, and oil pressure is coming up met those five items. We're going to take the fuel cock all the way down from the shut, bring it all the way up to open. Fuel flow. TGT is rising. We're looking for cutout at about 41% of the start valve and ignition. We got that. Looking for rollback. And the whole time we have our hand on the fuel cock because if this TGT ran away, we want to shut the fuel off immediately. We have rollback, oil pressure is good, EVMs are good, we've got 3300 on the hydraulics. And that's how we start the G4. Okay, we're going to pick it up now using the checklist. Thank you, Jay. Uh, start page is up. HP fuel cocks are shut. Power levers are idle. The gust lock is off. The beacon switch we're going to select on. APU air should be on, and it is, and it's indicating greater than 25. Electrical power, we're looking for a maximum of 35%. 35%, it's 29. Engine start master, I'm going to put the engine start master on, right here. Engine start switch, we're going to press. And we're looking for start valve and ignition on. This is per the checklist. Positive LP. HP fuel cock is going to come to open as soon as we have our five. Start valve ignition, HP, LP, oil pressure is coming up. Going right to the open. Start valve and ignition should go out by about 41% HP. And it does. TGT we're monitoring and we're always holding on to this fuel cock. If that TG runs away, we're going to shut down the fuel right away. Engine RPM check 46.6. Oil pressure and oil temperature check good. EVMs are good. Single rudder limit message is active and on. Hydraulic pressure, we're checking it 0330. And the flight data recorder message has been checked out. That's how you're going to start the right engine. Starting the left engine is exactly the same way. Everything is already set. We've got our beacon, we have our starter, we're going to do engine start. We're looking for the five items, start valve and ignition, that's more than 15%, LP is positive, oil pressure is coming up. Bring the fuel to open. Looking for cutout at 41% and monitoring the TGT.
there's the cutout waiting for rollback 548 was the maximum engines looking good engine instruments everything's looking fine that's how you start the g4 